Hello, gang. You can probably hear me now. Welcome back to group. This is week three, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing y'all in a couple of weeks. We've got a couple more weeks of class to get our theory uh, down and theoretical perspective uh, before we jump into actual practice. So we'll spend a little time when we get together in a couple of weeks to go over um, you know, our ideas uh, for, the, for the experience. There will be uh, Ponca City. If you if you haven't done the um, if you have not yet done the graduate class, the the one where you have to do the graduate seminar with Dr. Holiday, um, that is actually he's going to have that for Ponca City on the same day at the same time. So. I am likely going to move our time to meet back to 10, uh, 10 a.m. And that way I you won't miss too much and it'll primarily be just theoretical review. So I didn't want to do that, but um, you know, we've run into a, a conflict. So anyway, that's neither here nor there at this point, And that's a couple of weeks down the road. So uh, I got a chance to reflect on the Zoom experience for group. So I taught two modules of group for Adams State University where I'm trying to get a PhD. And uh, and that went really well. Um, the thing was, we I had smaller groups. I had six people, uh, six students that actually took turns leading group. And that worked really, really well. I was impressed um, with a smaller group like that, uh, it didn't take quite as much time as we have uh, etched out in our schedule. And so if I can find a way to get volunteers to help us um, and just kind of help people form their own groups, uh, I may have some colleagues from out of state help us out because it's, you know, there's 22 of us, 23 of us in a, in a setting that is a, a lot uh, that is a you know I, you should really only have six to eight people in each group that way everybody has a chance to share and people don't get lost in a shuffle um we can't just have all of us in a big 22 person group that is uh i'm uncomfortable <laughs> in a group that large um sharing any uh, of uh, anything of value so besides teaching of course I, I feel comfortable teaching to that group but as far as doing a group process no so i'm working out those details so hopefully uh, we'll have something good for you all um what i'm thinking about for that format is splitting probably the education folks off because you have a little different uh you have a, a different grading rubric for this uh in in that particular regard you also will very likely have a different setting than the the folks that are in mental health counseling uh, you know, you're going to be in a school-based setting. So generally, typically, there are there there are more structural guidelines that you apply in a group with children, and um, you know that's generally safer. And as far as working with adolescents and kids, uh, and so I, I'm going to I'm working toward that. I want the education folks probably to work together, um, and then uh, as forming two groups of MCP uh, students to, to work together. So uh, still working that out, but that's what's on the, it's one that probably going to happen. So let's go ahead and look and talk about this week being week three. And so if I go into week three, uh, I don't have much of an outline except for reading chapters four and five. So I'm going to, I'm going to lean on the textbook. Uh, this week. Chapters four and five provide a basic understanding of the stages of group uh, as people come to groups and start to work together. Typically, they go through very distinct stages. Um, they don't have to all proceed in the same way at the same time. I've, I've noted that some people don't ever go to a storming stage. Some people never get out of a storming stage. Um, it just it's just really and some people can kind of move back and forth some groups of people can kind of move back and forth through stages so they're not all fixed in stone 
but these stages are generally recognized as real things and I've, I've encountered them as well doing my groups. And so they're still relevant. Um, chapter five talks about different theoretical perspectives. Uh, Yalom is definitely an experiential type of ex uh, perspective, uh, but there are others as well. So if you're an MCP student, consider your alignment with different theories. Which one are you most closely aligned with in your own personal kind of ideology and then style in personality as a counselor? I have a, a video that will go into the stages of group counseling in some detail right here, and that'll help you understand that. And uh, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on the different stages. Here is your discussion board post. And so what it talked about in reading chapter four, there, there was the storming stage. And this can happen when you have resistant or angry clients in a group. Uh, and so think about if you do, and I'm not necessarily th saying that other students in, in our group that we're going to demonstrate are going to become angry and defiant, although they might. I've, I've, uh, when I worked at Adams one year, it was pretty wild. I had a, a pretty wild group um, with, with a couple of members that were disgruntled, and, or at least one. Um, but how are you going to work through this process? Um, so sometimes it's not possible to uh, get people involved, but think of ideas to uh, help them feel empowered and, and the ability to make choices. Um, how are you going to manage, manage conflict among group members? Um, what for you is difficult about managing conflict? So what a lot of many of us feel very uncomfortable with with conflict. So it can happen in groups. So how you know it's good to think about this, especially if, if as you you know go out in the field, whether you're in school counseling, whether you're in mental health counseling. Um, now, how are you going to handle this when you're actually in charge of it? It's your thing. Um, so think about ideas. That's that's going to be your that's going to be your topic. So just a short and sweet video this this week. I uh, just want to check in. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, enjoy the discussion. I haven't read through everybody's posts. Definitely haven't graded them yet. It's probably going to be the middle of the week before I get to uh, grading uh, your post. But it looks like folks are pretty engaged in. Uh, from what I've perused through. So keep up the good work and, um, and I'll see you, see you soon. Take care.